Hi everybody, Scott Cart here with another quick tip on Proteus. Today I'd like to talk to you about importing parts directly from the internet. Now this is a great way for us to get parts in very quickly and efficiently, but uh, note that you won't be able to simulate any of these without actually uh, going in and setting up the simulation models. Uh, but that said, uh, very quick and easy, and it ensures that you actually have the right footprint. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about uh, Proteus then. The first thing that we want to do is. Uh, Obviously, we need to we need to pick uh, what what part we want to use, and this is this is something that's uh, you know not an easy task. As a matter of fact, you can spend sometimes days hunting for the right part, and uh, so after you spend all that time searching down the right part, in this case, I'm looking for a minimum of two DACs and a minimum of nine bit resolution on those DACs. So this seemed like a, a good a good choice. And then the next thing, of course, I, I want to see that my software can actually handle handle it, and that that's good. That's that all worked out. And then finally, uh, I want to actually go and make sure that there's a stock available for the chip that I want. And uh, so this is actually a really good uh, web page. It's uh, findchips.com. And the, why I really like this is that you can actually check into the uh, part intelligence they call it. And so this will. This will help you to, um, to search and find. Uh, sorry, we'll have to be a little bit more specific. Now, if we check our part intelligence, it should give us, ah, perfect, a price range that we should be expecting, uh, the design risk, the production risk, and whether or not it's long-term. And so with a score of uh, 1.4, I feel very confident in using this in my, in my design. Okay, so we, we've we checked off the boxes. Uh, I can get some prototypes. It's going to be here for a long time. It fits my my design applications. And so now let's uh, go into Proteus because uh, this is going to be the perfect chip. And we'll put in a uh, PIC uh, 16F1776. And it doesn't, ha it doesn't have any parts. Uh, you know, it's not available. But as long as we have this unchecked, it's going to be a problem for me right now, unchecked, uh, it will actually go out on the internet and try to find uh, the parts. And some of them, uh, when you click on it, it says that uh, you, you know, the, these parts haven't been modeled yet. And so you can actually put in a request as long as you have registered uh, for the software. If, the, if it comes up and says that you need to register, do so. You can use your school uh, email or your company email to, to do this. It's not a problem. And uh, it's very quick and easy. And once you set it up, you it's it's kind of for life. So that's not a problem. All right. So in this case, we're going to pick this. We want the, uh, the, the, the DIL package. And so I'll say, OK. It asks me if I'd like to import it. And that's fine. Uh, and it's asking me if I want to replace what's already in there. If if it's a standard package, I recommend you don't. And so I'm going to say no here anyway. And uh, now I have that chip available to drop in. And if we go to our PCB layout and look for U6, um, get rid of this. U6 here, uh, we can lay it in. And that's... Okay, I really don't like this footprint though. And uh, so we, what I want to do is I want to go in and change this part. And so I'm going to just simply double click on it. And I'll go to the little binoculars in here. And in this case, I want an SP uh, DIL 28. Perfect. Arrow pitch 28. I'll say, okay. And there should be nothing else that I need to do uh, when I go back here, and there's my beautiful uh, package that I like. The reason I like this better is I don't have to look just for the square pin to find pin one. 
uh, you do have a nice little bit of silk screening. Uh, one other thing to, to point out, uh, is, uh, this was uh, something I discovered the other day quite by accident. The uh, hotkey to get to your pick library is just simply P and it shouldn't matter where you are uh, in your in your uh, in your ribbon uh, you can always just go and pick a part and so this is a great time saver if uh, this was helpful please give it a thumbs up if uh, if not uh, thumbs down is fine i understand constructive criticism if your comments down in the bottom are most appreciated and if you would like to uh, subscribe then you will not only help support my channel but you will be made aware when i post more videos all right thanks and have yourself a great day bye now